Okay, happy Friday everyone. Good morning. Good morning guys. It is Friday morning and David is off today. So we're starting our weekend a little bit early and we're gonna get out of the house. Our original plan was to go to lunch and sit out on a patio, but it unfortunately is raining. So we are actually just gonna go run a few errands. I am gonna go to Home Goods and David's gonna go to the grocery store. We're all gonna go together, but just kind of switch on and off who goes into what store because we're trying to just wait a little bit until we bring Remy into any stores. Um, but yeah, that is what we're gonna do this morning. And then I just thought I would vlog for the weekend um, and bring you guys along. So happy Friday. Um, you're obviously seeing this later in the week, but I hope you guys had a great weekend and we're about to start ours. All right, Miss Remy, are you ready to get going? She actually does so well in the car. I'm so thankful. Um, but yeah, are you ready to go shopping? Even though you don't really get to go shopping? Someday I'll get to take you to Home Goods and we can smell all the candles together. We made it to our first stop, which is Home Goods, which is my stop. So I am going to go in there. David and Remy are going to stay in the car and hang out. Hopefully she naps. <laughs> um, if she doesn't, just call me. I'll run out. I got the goods. Uh, so yeah, let's go in. Hopefully we find some cute stuff. Bye baby. I'm gonna miss you. And I got a few things at Home Goods. I didn't really get a ton. I wasn't really looking for anything specifically, which is usually the time that you find stuff there is when you like don't need anything. But um, yeah, I didn't really get a ton, but I thought I would show you guys what I got anyways. So the first thing I got was this candle. I thought it was so cute. So I actually bought a couple of them. I got one for myself and then I just thought I like to have candles for like gifts and stuff and I thought those ones were super cute. So I got a couple of those. And then I randomly will find this there. It's the Laneige, Laneige, I literally never know how to say it, but it's the lip sleepy mask. I probably talk about this product almost the most of anything I ever talk about on this channel. Um, it's just one of my favorite things. I wear it like all day, every day, not just when I go to bed. So anytime I see it there, I grab it um, again for myself or for gifts just because I swear by this. I might make a video on this whole thing, but I used like a few things when I was at the hospital. I didn't really use a ton and this was one of the things that I used. Um, so yeah, I grabbed that just to have an extra and I like to have them in like every spot of my house. Um, the next, the last two things I guess, that's really all I got. But um, for her nursery, um, which I'm going to do a whole video on, but uh, her changing pad is just one of those like wicker basket type things. I don't know if you guys know what I'm talking about, but that's what it is. And it's sitting on top of her dresser. 
and it kind of slides around which right now she's not really like, moving that much and she's really like small so i don't like leave her laying up there by herself but i'm thinking when she gets a little bigger and stronger i don't want her to be able to like scoot like move the basket when i'm not looking and like something terrible happens so i'm trying to think of a way to get it to stay put on the dresser and not really slide around so if you have one of those like changing baskets and you have the same problem and you figured out a way to like not let it slide let me know but this is what i'm going to start with it's one of these um kind of like rubber mat things i think people use them for in their drawers yeah a cushion liner for drawers and shelves um so i'm gonna cut this to the shape of the little um, mat and hopefully it'll kind of cause it to like stick to the dresser i don't want to do anything that would hurt the dresser because i obviously won't always have that changing table on there so we're gonna start there we'll see if it works and then the last thing i got were these two clear acrylic um just organizers i think this one says it's for spices and fruit but i am um nursing her right now but i'm also pumping um just to get my supply up so i have some extra milk in the fridge right now and i don't have anywhere to store it so i thought these like long skinny um containers would be nice to like kind of keep them organized in the fridge instead of just kind of having them everywhere so i picked up a couple of those um for now and that's all that i got um david went and got groceries so we're good for the weekend and i'm not really sure what we're gonna do the rest of the day it's already three o'clock like i said our days go so fast um it's kind of crazy so yeah that's what i got at home guys hope you enjoyed the haul uh it's not very exciting but it was fun to get out and just like walk around i think i was in there for less than a half hour but it was just nice to go in there and browse around so i'm gonna go ahead and put some of this stuff away and then i don't know we'll see what we do okay remy is down for a nap so i thought it would be a good time to try out this little mat situation so this is where we change her in the nursery there's usually a changing pad inside of it but she had an accident this morning so it's in the wash um, but as you can tell it just like slides around super easily so I'm going to just like cut a little strip of this and put it underneath so you can't see it but I'm hoping that this will help so let's try That was extremely easy as you saw it took me like one minute and it cost me like three dollars so that's a win and i think that'll be good um i'll double check it once she's in it but i think that was a success all right i was just cleaning up the house a little bit and now before she wakes up i was going to do a little bit of online shopping because my friends reminded me that my hair is insane. I like blow dried it and then went outside and it's been raining for like five days straight. So my hair is a representation of that and it's huge and wild. <laughs> but um, anyways, they told me that the Sephora sale is going on, which of course I just bought new makeup probably like, I don't know, a month ago or something. So I don't need a ton, but the sale only happens, I think, once or twice a year. So I'm going to go on and buy just a couple things. And then I did place some orders at Zara and H&M yesterday because obviously I just had a baby and my body isn't back to normal by any means and it won't be for a while. But I'm really sick of wearing leggings. So I placed an order for just a few things to kind of get me by until my normal clothes start fitting me again. Um, I just can't wear leggings another day. I am so sick of them. So uh, yeah, I'll maybe do a little haul once I get like some of that stuff in the mail. 
um, because I needed a little refresh and I was feeling like I needed a little retail therapy the other day. So that is what I did and I'm gonna, I guess, go do that again. So let's see what we can find. Can you say, and just kidding, Remy woke up so mom is not gonna shop. Say hello. When you're young, you don't think about how good things have a bad side. You spend your time waiting around for the fall, not the goodbye. Good morning guys, it is Sunday morning and it has been a very chill morning so far. It's already 11.30, clearly I'm still in my robe and have only done my makeup. I probably won't do my hair today, that just seems like unnecessary. So yeah, we're just around the house. I'm gonna, I actually have a few projects I wanna work on and then um, we might go for a walk. We have a few errands to run. I wanna go to the grocery store and like, I want to really try to start eating a little healthier. I feel like for the first three weeks since Remy's been home, we kind of just have been like anything we can eat, we just like do like anything that's quick and easy. And um, I don't know if it's nursing or just in general, I have been so hungry, like thirsty and hungry. I feel like I could eat like twice as much as I normally could. So I kind of let myself do that for like the th first three weeks and now I'm like, okay, I'll still let myself snack and stuff because I feel like just like nursing, you burn calories and you need a little extra food, but I want to get some like healthier options because instead of a bag of chips, I could maybe have like fruit or something like that. So um, that's my big thing for today is to go grocery shopping and just kind of like stock our house with some healthier options and try to get a little bit more on track with that type of thing. So um, that's that and um, just kind of hanging out, but happy Sunday. Okay, here is the first project that I'm going to work on. So we ordered this pennant from Etsy. Um, this is kind of the last thing that I needed for the nursery before. I do the nursery tour. It um, came pretty quickly. We just literally didn't decide on her name until the day before I went into labor. So that's what took so long. Um, but I ordered this frame from Frame It Easy. And then, like I said, this is from Etsy. And um, I'll link the company below. But it's really cute. And I'm so excited to put it in the frame. So we're going to do that, I think, today. Um, I just think it's so cute and such a good gift idea I was saying anybody that is having a baby or like a first birthday or something this would be something fun to give um, as a gift instead of like a toy or something but I just think it's super cute and yeah love it Okay, here is her final little pennant framed. I think it looks so cute. It's fairly easy to frame. We just used a couple like small nails to keep it in place, but I think it looks so cute. I'm so excited. What's up guys? It is later in the day now. It's already like almost six o'clock, I think. Um, not gonna lie, today was one of those days I thought I was like getting in like a routine and kind of getting the hang of everything and today was just kind of like, nope, jokes on you, like just kind of had, I don't know, just an off day. We didn't sleep good last night so I kind of woke up just like in a funk and then, um, I don't know, this is kind of like a lot so if you're not interested in mommy talk maybe like fast forward like a minute or something but basically i am breastfeeding but also um pumping just to up my supply and if i just feel like i need to i will so um any time that i breastfeed her and she still seems hungry after we will like give her some extra 
milk and we normally were giving that to her through a syringe because our doctor suggested us not giving her a bottle yet because it could confuse her between a bottle and breastfeeding it, they can just get confused on like what they're supposed to do well our syringe broke and we were like in a pinch so we were like f it we'll just give her a bottle and so we did that for like two days or yeah probably like two or three days we've done that mm -hmm. and um today was kind of the day that i think she officially got confused and she was just like extremely frustrated when she was trying to mm -hmm. nurse and it almost looked like she was in pain because she was just like so like she was crying and she doesn't ever do that so i was like so confused and we kind of were just like googling what nipple confusion is well this is a lot of information <laughs> sorry if this is not interesting to any of you guys and i think that's what she is kind of dealing with right now um so i was just like mad at myself that i gave her a bottle but i also just know like i don't know you just got to do what you got to do to like feed your baby so i don't know we are going to try to not give her a bottle and just try to exclusively breastfeed for a while longer just so she like really gets like the hang of everything and then eventually we'll probably give her a bottle and do both again but she's definitely getting confused which makes me so sad and so I was like crying, she was crying, it was just kind of one of those afternoons so that is where I've been um but the second feeding that we did after that she was a lot better and she didn't cry so that made me feel a little bit better but um anyways this a little mom vent and just you know having one of those days but anyways enough of that talk um I am actually going to the grocery store David is home with Remy and she's napping so I thought I would run to the grocery store and grab some groceries for the week um I'll show you when I get home kind of what we're making for the week we usually try to make food like I would say three to four times or dinner three to four times a week and then Friday we'll usually either order in is basically now what we do but we normally would have like gone out and stuff um so I usually try to plan like three to four meals and then lunches now that I'm home obviously I eat lunch all the time at home so just kind of doing that and like I said earlier trying to be a little healthier so I'm gonna run in go to the grocery store if you guys know me I love going to the grocery store and now it's like next level I'm like getting out of the house and getting to go to the grocery store so I'm happy about that so let's go in grab some groceries and then go back home to my baby because it feels so weird to not be with her I kind of hate it I'm like I'm sure eventually I'll need like a whole like night to myself or something like go out but I'm like I can't even be away for her from her for an hour without like having extreme like separation anxiety so I don't know we probably got issues all right let's do this back from the grocery store this is what I got um, I'll kind of tell you guys what I'm making throughout the week um, the first thing I got some spinach we're gonna make a fish Florentine that we've made a bunch of times it's super good so I got spinach for that um, for lunches we wanted to make just some like wraps so I got some like pre-sliced um, turkey some like different types of veggies like we got avocado and celery for that for breakfast i'm going to make some like avocado um toast essentially but i bought these bagel thins that i actually really like because um yeah just they're thin and they're not as much bread so I like those uh bought a bunch of fruit i got grapes um pineapple we've literally ate so much pineapple in the last month i think this is our fourth one i'm not kidding They've been so good, and so I bought another one. And then some strawberries. Um, we're going to make some Brussels sprouts. I got Brussels sprouts. These I have never tried. 
um, but I thought they'd be good for just like something really quick to grab for breakfast. So I've had the original kind bars, but these ones are thin. So I thought those were kind of interesting. So I grabbed those. Um, we're going to be making flatbreads. So I grabbed some stuff for like, we're going to do a margarita pizza one and then just like a veggie one. So I got some, um, pizza sauce and stuff for that. Some fresh basil, some fresh dill for, um, uh, this tuna steak recipe that we're going to make. Um, what else did I get? I don't know. I got gum because I feel like when I'm trying to eat healthier and I have like a sweet tooth, if I put this in my mouth, I feel like I don't grab for like a piece of candy or something. So I bought a lot of gum, um, eggs just because they're good to have around and then tomatoes, red pepper, you know, these we're going to use for wraps. Um, and yeah, that's really it. Nothing too exciting. I did buy myself prosciutto because this is one thing that I craved super hard when I was pregnant and I didn't eat any of it. So I treated myself and got myself some prosciutto. But uh, yeah, that is basically what I got for the week. And this will make us lunches, breakfast, and dinner until like... Friday, so we should be good. I've hardly shown Remy today, so I just had to give you guys a little Remy footage because when she is like in a deep sleep, she sleeps with her arms up and I think it's so cute. She's also David's twin. I don't know if I've mentioned that yet, but she literally looks exactly like David. I'm like, mommy who? I <laughs> literally think she is his twin. Oh my gosh, why are you not focusing? She's so sweet.